G'day everyone, welcome to Matty Scar Models. Uh, this is my update video number two on Frankie Day's um, transport group build of the uh, Heller Nord uh, Nautilus. And um, just a progress video and uh, just to see how things are going. I'm working on this one between another build. Um, so what have I done so far? Well, the kit so far, things things are not too bad. So what I have done, I've done a little bit of extra detailing work inside the cockpit. Um, this cockpit is um, pretty much completed. I have did a few extra little tiny things in there this is for mr frankie day so you've got to do something special for frank um i've added some little control panels and things inside the aircraft on both sides so um once that's all painted up and dry brushed and a few gauges and stuff picked out i think it would look all right um you won't see a real lot with the kit closed up anyway. But um, what I will be doing is once everything's painted up in here, I've noticed on some reference photos is where they have some curtains. So I'll make some curtains up um, in there as well. Uh, so the cockpit is, is uh, and excuse the clutter on the bench, but it's been uh, a bit busy. <laughs> I've been busy. I've added some wires to some of the radio work. Now, in the instructions, it tells you there's a seat here that uh, that sits up. Well, everything I've seen, this seat folds down, so it must be an auxiliary seat. I've had a little bit of stretch sprue there to replicate the non-slip part of it. Um, I've still got to pick out some work on the details, on the on the details on the radios and bits and pieces. They'll come up quite nice. Um, for what it is, it's not a bad interior. By Heller, so um, that was that done. I've had a little bit of extra detail inside the front wheel well. There was an ejector pin mark, as you can see there, that has to be completed, you know, rubbed out if you would like to. Uh, there's a little bit of hydraulic cabling and a few other things added down the side there, just out of bits and pieces. The kit seats, I looked at some reference photos, I've added some bits of bracing um, to the pilot and co-pilot seat and you'll see on here um, I have put some some um, surfacer uh, that putty the stuff here and the reason why I've added that to the seat is to sort of give it some sort of texture to look like material um, so they'll be painted blue the kit instructions are very, very vague in um, what colours call out. Some bits and pieces just telling you silver here, that, there. But I've just looked at a few photos. There is some really, really good reference photos on the internet for anyone who's interested in this kit. The wheels, the main landing gear wheels have been assembled and painted. The nose wheel has been done i've had a little bit of extra detail to that some hydraulic lines and a couple of uh, blanking plates it's a little bit wobbly but once i get it painted i'll just carefully put a little bit of um to me or extra thin and i don't know whether i might weight this wheel a little bit by I mean weighting is just to make it look a little bit flattened at the front and the wings are assembled. I had a little bit of difficulty on the uh, starboard wing around this engine nacelle area or the boom. Uh, the fit on both and the, the port one was the same. And uh, there's a couple of tricks here to assemble this. You can't really assemble this model kit um, without the landing gear being installed. But I also added some detail inside these here, which is a real bugger because you've sort of got to unclip your wheel out. But uh, I've added just a little bit of detail in there. You won't see a real lot. 
I've blanked off this area here with some sheet styrene. One um, to help the gap that's in there. There's a couple little gaps in this kit into, into the front of the engine. So that's just glued in there at the moment. I've got to trim it and sand it down. But that will sort of give a little bit of detail inside. Um, I'm having trouble getting um, some sort of detail in the back where it's hollow here. I wanted to put something in there to blank that off a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to work on that. But it's going to be a very big aeroplane. Um, overall, so far, the fit has been really, really good. Careful construction. A little bit of tiny twist in this one, but not a real lot. You can't expect much from an old kit. But... Um, it's going along quite well. Some really, really, really nice raised detail on that. So some very, very careful sanding will go a long way to preserve um, this wonderful textured riveting and uh, seam lines and stuff they put on this aircraft. Uh, hell I have. It's a really, 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 really nice kit. I'm really enjoying it, so it's going to look quite uh, quite the part when it's done. Um, so that's where I am at this kit, and um, so now I've got this detailed up. Um, I can start putting a little bit of paint on it tonight. Um, the interior at the back here will be just this silver... Um, you know, aircraft, aluminium, whatever you want to call it. This floor has actually got the stainless steel ribs in it. So the raised areas ribs and the rest is a brown laminated timber. Um, I didn't think about this too well to start with, but I will have to try to mask that up. Because what will be happening? Now, I've known with Doug Hensley is building his C-130 and he has a lot of weight that he needs to put in that to stop it from doing the old tail sit I noticed that he has now fixed it so well done Doug on that one um, what I have what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to make some fake cargo boxes on a couple of pallets or a pallet um, and in that right up the front here near this bulkhead uh, on a, I did see Mr Martin Lamont do a uh, pallet made out of balsa or something and then I'm going to put a, a, a homemade wooden crate and cover it over with uh, some tissue for tar. But in there will be as much weight as I can I can put in it. And I'm also going to try to put a little bit of weight up in here. Um, but I sort of want to be able to pose these open because um, it just looks fantastic. The reason why, why I think it will because the, the decals have got, uh, you know, this fold these access doors down, they've got, be careful to step, you know, the warning labels and everything on it, and I think it'll look quite nice on a base, um, all posed open with a little bit of cargo in it, and if a bloke can find some French figures or something, or f something around about like the, the 1960s with the Foreign Legion, which really interests me, I'd like to try to, um, try to do that. And the second reason I like to pose it open is I don't think this is without a lot of filler, which is going to be a shame. Um, I, I just like to pose that open as well at the back. Um, the only other thing I've got to say about this kit, uh, which is going to be very hard to repair, is the injector pin marks in the landing gear. Now, if I can get this to focus in, I've got a new camera, guys, so hopefully this is working. So on those gear the doors for the landing gear, excuse my arm, there should be ejector pin marks here, 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 here. Now these are inners and outers, and when I mean inner, some are sunk in, and some are raised, are outers, which are uh, sticking up. Now the, the ones that are sticking up a little bit, I can sort of work very carefully with my modeling chisel and scrape them down these ones that are sunk a little bit this mr hobby dissolved putty is a little bit self-leveling so i'm going to try to carefully 
put some in there, which I have on the step right there. Um, I'm going to try to put some of that in there carefully and, and get it to um, hopefully level out. I've gone for the Mark II version with the longer spline. I like this long tapered spline on the tail plane. And it's got some really nice, really, really nice detail on it. As you can see, it'll look quite good. But I'm hoping this comes out alright because this is a new camera. Um, my other one actually caught fire. Uh, and as you can also see here, some really, really nice detail. Uh, but there is some ejector marks on these doors. I have started cleaning the ones up on the top here as well. But there's just injector pin marks. But so far, really, really nice old kit. Uh, the big four-bladed propellers. Um, clean those up too. The real tricky thing for me, uh, I'm going to have to pre-watch some different videos, is is replicating this, the... Um, I hope you can get that to focus. On the, sp on the spinner is a spiral uh, the germans used to put them on their aircraft as a safety thing to tell you the truth that's what they're there for they also look really really cool but uh i've got to try to replicate that that's going to be something that i'm going to have to tackle and the other thing which i found with this kit which i have seen from a couple of things i've read in a few books there's no actual engine detail in the engine now i don't know whether that's because and i have to research more that the engine is behind it sort of like a, a shield that's supposed to be on here, like the uh, the uh, engines in the uh, FW190s and the TA152s, um, whether that's got like a, a radiator because of the radial engine. Um, I just can't really... I have to go through some more reference photos on the internet to, to check that out. But look, guys, thank you very much for watching and subscribing and sticking with us. We... Should, we uh, We'll talk some more about everything, but there's just a lot of confusion about at the moment about this uh, rules on Facebook or YouTube. But I think yeah, we're pretty we're pretty right if we all stick together. Don't don't everyone bail out in the ship. I think a lot of people are having a bit of a knee jerk reaction to this. But until next time, guys, be safe, model hard. Go and check out Mr. Frankie Day's transport group build. He's done the Curtis Commando. Just about finished. He has finished off his flying box car um he's building a canada Air water bomber at the moment frank is the man when it comes to building he really really gets stuck into it and does a fantastic job and uh the question of the week uh for this video will be too that i just watched that wonderful old film um flight of the phoenix the original version the only version what aircraft was in that? I'd like to model that aeroplane. It looks like a fine flying box car, but I'm not too sure. So if anyone knows what the, the aircraft was from Flight of the Phoenix, the original one with um, the original actors, Ernest Borgnine and, and Richard Attenborough and, um, God, Mr. Stewart, James Stewart, I think his name is fantastic. What a wonderful movie. And I watched it last night and uh, how wonderful it was. So... Um, if anyone give me a heads up on that one, I would much appreciate it. Till next time, God bless, model hard, a little bit of effort, can get a good result from an old model kit. Stay with YouTube, we love you all. Thank you to my new subscribers, and over and out.